Well, brother, sister, look at me. Joe's Joe's ready now. Joe's ready now, everybody. Hey, now, now that Joe's ready, let's get started with uh, this week's two guys on beer coming to you from National Mechanics in Old City, Philadelphia. And a little a change of scenery. We're going to try to be here for the winter. It's warmer. It's a fireplace. Fireplace. I, the I, fire. It's toasty. It's warming my heart as we speak, especially warming my heart about this particular beer. This is the Goliath Blondale, uh, a 9% uh, uh, Belgian ale from uh, Brewery D. D, D Brewery de Gents? De Gents? Gents, maybe? G-E-A-N-T-S. And, um, and the Gents Brewery, um, basically, Gents means giant. So it's basically like the giant, the Giants Brewery. The great and giants, right? from like the town of Ath, Belgium, um, Ath is famous for uh, the Parade of Giants that they have every year. And the Parade of Giants is, it, uh, it starts off with... The, the, that looks refreshing. The float or whatever it is that starts off with is Goliath. Now, Goliath is pronounced, um, the, the translation is, and this is probably the wrong way of pronouncing it, but uh, Goliath in, in that language is Goyase. 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 What, and and say, it, say it with it. Say it with this. Goyase. Goyase. I hope that's the way it's pronounced because it sounds, it's too much fun to say. Yeah. It really is. So they started brewing the Goyase beer. Um, for a little while, and then they started to export it over to the United States, and people here in the United States went, wait, we like our beers bigger. And the Goyase was a mere, uh, I don't know, 6.5%, 6. I think it was? Yeah, so they had to like get, add a little bit more to it and so give, us, uh, give us a nice triple. Which this is a triple. That, that's how they. And it's a nine percent ABV. At nine percent ABV, it's really, it's it's really strong. So the this is sold in Belgium as the Goyasse. You got to get your nose in there. It really smells good. Doesn't they, it? They've it's actually not. started just recently. They've started bottling and packaging the Goliath, the nine percent over in Belgium as well. Yeah, they, they it goes by a few names. So if you look for it online, it, it may be difficult to, to find it first. But if you go to Beer Advocate and you search at least the label that says Goliath, it'll come up with that in the search results. This but, has got um, a little bit of heat on the nose, I think. Uh, nine percent it should yeah. I want I want a drink I need I need a drink people I need a drink so mm. now the interesting thing about a triple That's is really that light. a triple is not analogous to a double a double is um, a, a double is usually like um, a Belgian pale ale or a Belgian Abbey ale it's a little bit higher in alcohol, maybe brewed a little bit longer, but a triple is pretty specific to the fact that it's usually brewed with triple the amount of malt. And unlike doubles, which tend to be just malt bombs, triples actually have and are known to have a little bit of a, a, of a bitter bite on them too. Yeah. They hop them. Yeah, they do. Got a little bit of hop on. It has a little bit. Of, it has a little bit of that bittering on it. The thing that I find interesting is that it really, it really is a refreshing beer, being nine percent. Used when I tasted this, I was expecting a very sweet, a very almost golden drakish type beer. And what I got was something that was crisp and refreshing, like very cleansing. I would. This is a nine percent beer that I would start to put with meals, uh, with with you know white fi uh, white fish and and other other types of games, things like that. I think it'd be really good. But yeah, um, I mean, it's important to point out. I think really that good. this does have this does have a serious hot end to it, which I think is one of those things that you know makes this a little bit more cleansing. But there's definitely hops on this thing, unlike a double where you almost have none. Yeah. And. There is, there is, but in the beginning, there is that nice little like sweet malty pickup to it. Yeah, and I'm gonna get that in the beginning again. Hold on. Mm. We'll wait. So what it do you is think? Ninety-five. Wow. I love this beer. Not gonna, I'm not gonna beat around a bush about it. I'm not gonna like go around this way, go around that way. I love this beer. Ninety-five. It's a good beer. Match it, Dave. What do you get me? What do you, what you got me with? Be different. It, it, it's a good beer. I'm gonna go. Jeez, man. I'm not sure if I can go quite 90, 89 on this. I think it's it's a it's a fantastic beer. Um, but there there are other triples that just sort of. <laughs> I still love him. I still love him. I still love him. Anyway, but still, I mean, a good beer, something you should go try. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm all, I'm all caught up with excitement about this beer. So, look, um, we'd love to... Uh, one thing I would love people to do, and, and I'm just going to ask a question. I'm going to interject. I didn't tell Dave I was going to do this, but please... 
can you send me your favorite beer blogs and things like that that you use to find different beer? I go look in and scour, and Dave does too. We find certain things, but we really like to know what you're looking at. If you're a home brewer or any type of brewer at all, uh, or any type of beer lover, what kind of magazine you're subscribing to, all these things. We want to bring this to our other viewers like yourselves and, uh, and try to get them more educated. So if you can let us know, you can, find, you can send us messages through the contact uh, from our website. You can hit us up on Twitter and on Facebook for both of those too. So get in touch with us. Let us know what your favorite beer blogs and, and such are. So thank you to Snatch and Mechanics for hosting us once again. Two guys on beer. I'm Johnny Bellotta. I'm Dave Monterana. Go Don't enjoy some beer. beer. Sorry about that.